The comedy world is often associated with being a bit of a boys club, but our next guest has her sights set on changing that. Alice Rose is a Canadian comic and producer. She's also a gay woman, and she's part of a new comedy showcase that aims to make comedy accessible to a diverse audience. And Alice joins me in studio this morning. Alice, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Ben. So Pride is the name of the showcase here in Toronto. Um, it starts tonight, and the point is to make space as queer artists. But has that traditionally been a hard thing to do in comedy? Uh, absolutely, yeah. especially in stand-up comedy. I mean, it's been a straight, cishet, white males game for the longest time. Um, growing up, that's, uh, that's who I saw. That's who I looked up to in comedy. Uh, and we're definitely looking to change that now. But what is it about the institution of stand-up? Because for, from someone who sits back and loves all types of stand-up comedy, I'm, I'm on the <laughs> other side of it, but there's a mic, a stage, jokes, a spotlight, uh, and, and, then, and then laughs. What, what about the institution is exclusive? I really don't know. And I think especially what's important about what, what, what highlights queer comedy especially is that... Uh, is that we have so many diverse voices. We have such a range of experiences to draw from that our shows tend to be much richer. Uh, they tend to cross over with performance art a lot. Um, and, and they give uh, a breadth of performance as opposed, to, uh, as opposed to these shows that tend to have a, a straight male lineup. Um, I've been to on countless shows where I'm the only female comic uh, out, of, out of seven or eight or 10 mm -hmm male comics, so we're just looking to change that up. So yeah, yeah. Well, t tell me a little bit more about your experience within the community. Besides being sort of the lone female voice sometimes or the lone gay voice on a stage. Right, um, it can be difficult because with comedy, of course, we're, we're expected to make light of everything. We're expected to challenge perspectives and challenge comfort zones. Um, so when you're uh, a marginalized person, oftentimes, uh, even just attending shows or performing on shows, uh, you can be the subject of another comics material, you can be the punchline of a joke, and uh, it gets a little tiring over time. So, so. yeah, so, so, so where, where do you want to see things going? Because that's, that's a really interesting sort of sticking point, like a wedge point, or a choke point, rather, where what, what could be funny for one comic could be... Uh, a very serious thing for, for somebody else. How do you reconcile those two worlds? Um, what, what I try to stick to is uh, the concept of punching up. So technically, or so essentially, uh, you, don't, you don't kick somebody when they're down. You don't come from a place of power or a place of privilege and, uh, and, and make fun of or uh, try to make somebody feel bad who is in a lesser place of privilege. Uh, so, uh, if you are a performer of color, then you have the experience and you have the, um, the understanding of that community to explore those margins a little better. Have, uh, you, had, have you had those conversations with other members of the co comic community? All the time, all yeah. the time. A lot of my stand-up, a lot of my, t my material focuses on it. Um, uh, I uh, talk about, you know, there are, there are, uh, there's this trend of rape jokes that, that occur a lot. Uh, so when I see that in other shows, I bring my own experiences with sexual assault onto the stage. Um, and I try to have a larger conversation about it and really explore that, uh, that subject matter in a greater context. Alice Rose, thank you for being here. We wish you the very best of luck. Great. Thank you so much.